Hello, this is Cinema 4D Quick Tips and today we will show you how to use instances. Instances in Cinema 4D are lightweight copies of an object that don't contain any geometry data, but maintain a link to the original object. Because instances store only a limited amount of data, they use less disk space for scene files and require less memory when rendering using Redshift. Another major advantage of using instances is that changes to the original object are automatically applied to all its instances, making it much easier to edit multiple identical objects. Let me show you how to create and use instances. First, create a cube. Then, create an instance of the cube. For this, click on the cube in the Object Manager, then press and hold on the subdivision surface icon and choose Instance from the pop-up palette. Now move the cube instance to the side. Next, create a second instance of the cube by clicking and dragging the previously created cube instance to the other side of the cube object while holding down the Control button if you use Windows or Command button if you use Mac. In order to change the position, orientation or scale of the specific instance, click on this instance in the Object Manager, go to the Coordinates tab and change the appropriate values. You can also move or rotate the specific instances in the viewport by clicking and dragging. If you change the geometry of the original cube, the geometry of all its instances will change as well. Let's play with the object properties in the Object tab of the cube object. You can change the sizes and increase the number of segments. To display the segments, open the display menu in the viewport and choose the Grow Shading Lines. Now make the cube object editable by clicking on the Make Editable logo, switch to Points mode and make some changes to the original cube. Then switch to Edges mode and change something. And finally switch to Polygon mode and make changes here too. As you can see, the geometry of the cube instances follows the geometry of the original cube. If you apply a material to a cube, that material will also be applied to all instances of the cube. However, if there are no materials applied to the original cube, let's delete the material tag, then you can apply different materials to different instances. If you want to hide the original cube, you can just use the visibility dots or switch in the Object Manager, because that would make all instances disappear. But you can make the original cube a child of the null object and hide the null object with the visibility dots. Thank you for your attention, subscribe to the channel and put your finger up.